Okay, my loves, I'm back. Can we clarify the sacred heart? Sacred heart. So you got death and rebirth, darkness to light, again, alchemy, shadow work, miracles, ancient wisdom, divine mother, nurturing, compassion, and grace. This masculine might be healing a mother wound or they might respect this feminine for the mother that they are if they are a mother um but this feels like the compassion is what's helping this alchemy i heard miracles through visions it's kind of like once you receive a vision once you receive a download once you receive certain information regarding this connection Miracles start to ripple after that and it has to do with past lives and and ancient wisdom So what pa Ooh, What past life are we talking about? I heard I'm so proud of us Unrequited love. So, no, oh, mamas. This feminine energy is over here feeling like, you don't love me. They don't love me. What's wrong with me? You know, I'm not laughing at y'all. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. No, I'm just playing. I'm, well, not really. But I'm like saying, like, you, there, this energy is in that, like, unrequited love energy. It could be trauma from a past life of like maybe it didn't work out due to outside circumstances and could have been when a Native American, you were both Native American or you have those roots in this one as well because sometimes they do repeat. You have love life so it is a love reading. You have spouse so this is regarding your spiritual spouse. This also feels, and feminine's trigger warning, this feels like this masculine had doubted this feminine when it came to her spiritual beliefs or the way she does things or the way she works in the spirit realm. But he had not tapped into or understood how she moves, which is through compassion and her love frequency. And she knows how to tap into her shadow. She knows how to face it. She knows about death. She knows about rebirth. She knows how to alchemize darkness to light. But this feels like somebody that went from doubting to now for sure knowing. Like, holy shit, this is a person. This is my spouse. Like, this is my wifey up in the astral room. Like, this is my, the person I'm building down here on earth with is what I'm sensing with this. You might be of African descent and this might actually be the star ancestors you guys are connected to. I don't know much about them, I just got this duck because I kept getting a praying mantis telling me to get it, so respected it. Um, can you clarify love life? So they are pointing to miracles in your love life happening. Again, after certain information or like spirit, mm, I know it's it's connected to Egypt. So this ancient wisdom that is causing miracles in your love life is connected to Egypt. So it could be that in Egypt, in your life, you guys bowed through this love life for this. There was like love vows that are being respected. To be honest, this feels like the type of sacred vow that is so pure that no matter what tries to break it in what life and what dimension, it is not broken. I just had full body chills.
And I heard I love you. So your person loves you, my loves. Make sure, you know, if you have that beautiful telepathic love, you let them know how much you love them too. There, this feels like this, it's going to be on the masculine energy to heal this unrequited love wound that this feminine has. It could be connected to a Native American life or an Egyptian life. This also feels like if there is a third party energy for the people I was picking up earlier, they do. there is unrequited love with this spouse. Like, they do not. It's kind of like giving me the energy of like, I'm marrying this person because we have a child together. Or she is my wife because we have a kid together. And this is the right thing for me to do as a man. To step up for my child and build this family for my child. Which, fully fucking respect as a parent, you know? Is it gonna hurt? Fuck yeah. But, I mean, free will. And it is what it is. So, I am picking up on that for some of you. I gotta keep it honest, okay? I know, sometimes we don't want to hear the shitty shit. Shit, shit. But, I wish all I did was get good news, loves. <clears throat> yeah, full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. So I guess the ending of this reading will be in doing the shadow work that needs to be done by facing one's emotions so they don't overpower you or take control over you and your actions. Because Aries is about action. It's a fire sign. It's action based. They're very spontaneous, but they're very like... <laughs> I heard an expression I'm not going to repeat. But it's like... They're very courageous about their leaps of faith, right? But they're kind of telling you, like, don't act on what you think you should do. Act with your heart. Like, what is your heart telling you to do? <sighs> Damn. That's crazy. But this feels like a masculine that is realizing the importance of a healthy family full moon and scorpio breathe through the tension yeah it's learning it's it feels like the separation is teaching both of these energies how to control their emotions to the point because this feels like codependent to be honest not physically, maybe not physically, but this feels like two souls that are so intertwined on in the spiritual realm that that separation was needed in the physical realm. So the physical realm could like take that breather to breathe through the tension to figure out all these overflowing emotions within these two. It could also be that none of these have expressed their emotions to the other and that's what's creating such a big cloud of doubt because what i'm sensing the block really is yeah it's insecurity and not feeling worthy of love but it's also a big cloud of doubt of like am i not good enough am i worthy of love and you guys are mirroring each other so love yourselves okay breathe todo está bien Everything's gonna be fine. Recenter. Recenter. And that feels like what the separation was about. And trust me, separation is protection, you know? I was explaining it to my son the other day when I was sick and I didn't want to give him a kiss because I didn't want to get him sick. I was like, I'm not kissing you because I love you because I don't want you to get sick, not because I don't love you. You know? I had explained to him that sometimes. We have to do what's best for the people that we love, for their mental health, for their emotional health. And us having to deal and take the accountability for the shit that we need to handle, you know? And I could give him a kiss again once I was not sick anymore. So... <clears throat> 
Yeah, if this feels like that, like a love so strong that it like needed to ground in a healthier way where you guys wouldn't have that fear of losing each other, you know, or that fear of I'm not good enough and he doesn't really love me or she doesn't really love me or I'm not worthy of being loved by this person that I have in a pedestal and that I'm working so hard to build a family with one day. My loves, come on. This feels like two very hardworking souls that are very focused on their growth, on their soul mission, and that are... I do want to say, like, don't be so focused on your soul mission that you're not present in your now. That you're not present with the people you love, you know? Because they are what makes the journey worth it. It's the memories, it's the little things, like I said earlier. So just, no matter where you're at, and it's to my person, make sure you see the beauty within it, you know? Make sure you get a few smiles in for your heart and your soul. And see the, the beauty and the fucking irony in it. Because clearly, these two are working way better together than they know, than their physical selves know, you know, than the ego knows, than their ego knows. So I hope the telepathic communication is stay strong, but I'm gonna leave it there. I am still catching up on personals. So if you have not received yours, don't worry, you will, or you'll receive some sort of message of me communicating with you regarding it. I love y'all and you know thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for making sure you're affirming these affirmations if they helped you even if you take away the affirmations from this reading that'll help you when you need them you know make sure you like take them in so you can hear them when you need to or read them or say them out loud when you need to Assess the situation. First quarter moon in Virgo. Wait, there's another card. Release your blocks. Okay, some of you might be experiencing like tower moments that feel really shitty, but they're they really to release the blocks that are it's kind of like by facing these blocks, you're assessing the situation in itself, okay? So, keep that in mind. Is there anything the masculine wants to leave the feminine with? When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, what does the feminine want to say to the masculine? What does the feminine want to say to the masculine? new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately don't make decisions based on guilt didn't i see this in the reading earlier don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do or it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others as in you gotta live the tr your truth and if there is a baby involved, you gotta start thinking through example. Like, what kind of example am I giving this baby, you know? Am I telling them to be true to them? Or am I telling them to settle for something that's not real, but... Like, sacrifice, you know? Which is, it's up to free will at the end of the day. Like, what example you give? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And I said something along the lines of you shouldn't do what you think you should do. Or like that shame or guilt energy is pushing you to do. It's more like following one's heart. Okay. Anything else from spirit to the connection itself? 
You may have all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So creating a new energy, like bring, grounding that new energy, that new frequency. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and a cloud your vision. In order to see things cl clearly, you must let go of resentment. So one of the things that this feminine energy or Pisces energy is realizing or could be realizing is that they have a lot of issues around resentment or that they have some work to do when it comes to their shadow work around resentment, okay? Like, focus, pay attention on what? what ask yourself, do I hold resentment towards anybody if I do? How can I heal it? Yeah. I guess not. I heard one more. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Um, again, I'll let you all know when I'm back to personal readings. Hey, okay. peace.